got atom bombed. Uh, yeah, the, the United States got bombed by the Germans, the Nazis, in an ato with an atomic bomb and had to surrender. So there's no real resistance left anymore. We're the only ones who are still fighting. This is our leader who is crippled. She got crippled in the war 15 years ago. Um, oh, and Jasper, I don't know if you were around, but it turns out we are in the hospital not for three years, but for 14 years. So we're kind of old now. Oh wait, we're putting her in a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a while. And that's why all my friends are dead, but we did recover. Remember how we had to choose to kill one or the few, Fergus or Wyatt? We ended up finding Wyatt in a prison after we recovered most of our memory and our ability to. Punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. They found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Yeah, it was a good 14 years, but now we love Anya, and she's helping us take down the German Empire. The Nazis. This music, this game has great music as well. So these helicopters are undetectable by radar or by um, vision or whatever. Like you cannot, you cannot detect them. They're like the high technology supposedly. So that's why we're stealing them. There's Anya. What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Blaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? All right, let's do this. William, I could use your help. Anya Oliva. For a second? Sure. I'm going to go loot real quick, though. She's a cripple, how can she drive a helicopter? Because you only use your hands to drive a helicopter, duh. She wasn't she's a war veteran. She was one of our commanders back in the day. So this is the hideout. It's like in the middle of Berlin, Germany. Um, and it's like underneath one of their major squares in a fountain. And you like swim through the fountain and in through a vent and you can get in here. You don't press the accelerator in a helicopter. There's a throttle. But, so this is a bunch of news and stuff. We've already read all of this. But it's just kind of like parallel news that the Nazis, you know, them taking over that sort of thing. Oh, we haven't, we haven't found this one. London Nautica Bond. Oh, okay. So this is what we just did. Um, our buddy, the guy who was sleeping here, drove us to London where we currently just stole those helicopters and told us to get out of the car. His name was Bobby. And then he drove his car into this giant um, building that the Nazis had built in the middle of London. They tore down the central part of London. And, and he drove his car into it. And there was like 200 kilograms of explosives in the back and, and he blew the whole building up. And then we went in after him and stole the helicopters. So he suicide bombed so that we could have a chance. All right, let's read this letter he left. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Bobby's letter. Charlotte, do you remember that red cat, how it begged by our window and how you fed it shrimps? How you fed it shrimps? 
or the snail on the porch who fell from the table into your knee? Do you remember the sunny side of Primrose Hill, the broken glass of Clapham Pride in the nursery school, the one you said our politicians kill? Do you remember how your smile turned into tears, how you flew and flew into my arms and laughed and kissed music into my ears? Do you remember? Oh, so it's a poem to his lover, basically. Beautiful. Just beautiful. We're doing okay on the collectibles. Actually, mm, yeah, we're not doing great on the gold, but a lot of the other stuff we're doing pretty good on. Okay, let's help her with her research. I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes, everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous <clears throat> enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? Oh, so cute. That'll be all. We can go now. <laughs> She's a badass. Alright. So apparently they've been building all of their buildings they have this super concrete that is like indestructible, other than like massive explosives like we just used. But there's this outbreak of mold that apparently eats it. We gotta find the key. And so if we could figure out how to make the mold propagate, we could actually severely limit their... Okay, we could severely limit and destroy a lot of their progress. Search for moldy concrete, talk to Wyatt. Alright, so I think Wyatt's upstairs. Where are you, you fool? It's kind of interesting, the nightmares in this game um, don't allow you to continue. If you die in them, you just die. Japan pushed back. Another threat approaches. Chongqing, March 7, 1948. It was a proud moment for the Republic of China and the People's Liberation Army as the Japanese were pushed back into the Hubei province. Yet from the north, another dark force menace. Dark menace approaches at a swift pace. The German army has overthrown the brave Russian Empire and is now moving towards China. During a rousing speech earlier today, the chairman spoke of its faith in the Chinese people. A unified China cannot be defeated, he said. A unified China cannot be conquered. A unified China will never surrender. Oops. I think we grabbed everything in here already. And we read both of those. Okay. Let's refill our knives. Ah. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's uh, there should be someone up here, maybe. No? Oh, we can have another nightmare though. Let's have another nightmare. Let's go into animated realm. So maybe once a chapter we can go in here. It's much harder because they've capped your. They've capped your fire fire rate on this gun. And so it prevents you from just slaughtering them as you walk in. It's kind of annoying, actually.
However, it does seem like they give you more health in general, so that's a little bit helpful at least. There's also a new map in these new ones. Oh. So you can't ever tell exactly where you are. Let's go check this side area as well. I think that guy killed us last time. Oh, Jesus. That guy was like waiting on us. That was awful. What a douche. There's probably going to be dogs in here. Quite a few of them, usually. No? No dogs. Weird. Huh. That's odd. Let's check for secret passageways in here. A lot of times they'll add them on the sides of walls and you can, they can just push the walls in. Definitely want to grab all the health we can, since we are fairly close to dead right there. Hmm, that was much less than ideal. I don't even know where that guy came from. Oh, we left the door open and he walked in. Yeah, 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 like I was saying, Jasper, they- oh, there's a secret wall, nice. In this game, though, they're a bit different. You can't access the map. They have capped the fire rate on your pistol. Um, so you can't just spam fire it like a machine gun and kill everyone in the room. And then they also um, only let you go into these areas once a mission. So if you die in here, you just can't continue um, until the next mission, which makes them a lot, lot harder. Generally, overall, they're significantly di more difficult in this game. But yes, they do have them in this game as well. Oh, we're gonna die. Damn it! And they do this weird thing where they wait at the door for you. Oh, damn it. Alright. So we should be able to cut this at some point. I'm guessing maybe it's for an escape that we might have to make later on because we can't access our weapon pool right now. Which uh, sounds kind of foreboding. So we need to find the key to get into this room here. Talk to Wyatt and search for- oh, okay, Wyatt's room is right here. Wait. And search for moldy concrete. Hey, Wyatt. Wyatt, I need the keys to the archives. Have you got them? Yes, I think so. Perfect. Gosh dang perfect. What do you got there? Dog tags. Wing Commander Fergus Reed of the Royal Air Force took those off of his dead body, wanted to return him to the RAF, but then there was no RAF. So Best Fergus is the guy we had killed. I'm not cut out for this, you know. In to save Wyatt. 
Everything. I was 18 years old, and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people killed. You remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed, sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. He just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed. He wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left a boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know where mistakes were made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? Huh. That's kind of sad. So we chose him to live over Fergus because we, you know, we're thinking about what Fergus would have want done. But I'm sure there would have been a similar situation if we had killed Wyatt because Fergus would have been pissed off at us for the rest of his, our life. All right, we need to find some moldy concrete as well. Have you looked for the concrete sample? I've seen some mold over there where they keep the aircraft. Keep the aircraft? Oh, in here, all right. Oh, every oh, that's caution mold. Wow, that's that's nice. Caution mold. Helicopters must have blown the car free. Oh, I gotcha. So it's gonna be somewhere in here. We just don't know where yet. Looking for moldy super concrete. What is moldy super con? Ah, that's what moldy super concrete looks like. Hey, buds. This is our slightly um handicapped friend who's super strong. Alles ist glatt und aufgeräumt. Wo ist das Innenleben von diesem Ding? Max. Wie sonst? Das habe ich mich auch gefragt. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's grab this mold. There's a batch of mold. Need a circular saw to cut a sample. Gotta be some power tools nearby. Found a circular saw. Oh, shit! Uh, what? Max Hobbs? Quite a fun sand, Mr. Big Cheese. Mr. Big Cheese. You will find your way back here if you have a look around, yeah? Who the hell cut that board? <laughs> Ooh, I want that. So there should be some entrance to get in there. From the other side. This is where we just came from. Let's check all the side exits. Make sure there's no way to go. Because we want to try and get all the loot we can down here. Alright, it should be dead now. I'm gonna knife it a couple times just in case. K. 
Okay. This should be the way to get to this. Uh, yeah, there it is. Nice. Okay. This will give us some sort of upgrade for our ray gun. Reflection. Oh, shit. Okay, so now it'll bounce off. <laughs> That's badass. All right. So now it'll bounce off walls, basically. Wait, there were some bullets. There they are. All right, some shotgun shells. That's actually really good. The shotguns are really good. Dude, there's so many of these things. What the hell? battery. Is there a recharger around here somewhere? Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna go back just a little bit. Try and jump back up through this hole because I'm not sure we grabbed all the loot that was in here. Oh, all right, there you are. Nice. Okay. Okay. Looks like we did. Whew. Thanks. Oh, I got stuck in that. Let's actually go check down here first. That was almost a mistake. 